Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. Today I am having above and beyond amounts of anxiety. I am trying to just keep myself calm today and move on with my day. But yesterday was very rough. So day before yesterday, the hurricane hit. It was scary, but it didn't hit us as bad as everywhere else. I'm still praying for everyone who is still without power and who had a more traumatic experience than me. But yesterday, which was the day after the hurricane, we lost power, which is fine. I can deal without lights and air conditioner and all that. I've done it before. I've lived through hurricanes in the past. That's fine. What I had a very hard time dealing with yesterday was the loss of phone. Um, I couldn't call out. I couldn't receive calls. I couldn't send texts. I couldn't receive texts. Very traumatizing thing because uh, there's no way to contact anybody and nobody could contact me. Thankfully, my best friend, she's the only one, aside from my brother, he could text me, uh, but she was the only one who was able to at first send me texts and I could communicate with her and she was able to communicate with my mom for me because my mom's phone was still working because they ended up leaving town before the hurricane. But it was a pretty traumatizing experience. Also, all the lights were out on the road, gas stations closed down, no gas, grocery stores, no food, no restaurants, fast food, the lines were up the road, places were limited, they weren't letting anyone inside, so no food anywhere, no gas. It's it's just been quite the experience. Some other things happened which I don't really feel like talking about. So we lost power all day. It wasn't as bad in the daytime, but by nighttime it was complete and total darkness. If I can, I'll put in a clip here I got from my phone last night. Total and complete darkness. This is terrifying. Well, we've got a car coming, but still, this is scary. You couldn't see out the peephole of my door. Um, it was rough. There was no lights in the hallway, no lights anywhere. So last night was pretty scary. But anyways, moving forward, I'm trying not to get emotional. I just have a heavy, heavy anxiety on, on me right now. So if you're seeing this, pray for me because I clearly need it at the moment. Uh, but anyways, my place is a mess today. So I am gonna be doing some cleaning because I couldn't clean yesterday, obviously, because of no power. And this all is probably adding to my anxiety. It's driving me crazy. So let's get some cleaning done in here today. I still have my patio furniture in here which is kind of cool and looks nice, but it's gotta go. I also need to clean the patio off. Um, I'm gonna show you my place quick, so yeah. I know y'all are probably gonna say it doesn't look that bad. I get it, it probably doesn't, but I don't like it. Also the kitchen, cat food all over the floor, wet and dry food, it's just a little bit messy. Um, I do wanna give a shout out really quick to, first of all, the rechargeable fan thank god for this this worked great and it worked all night and all morning um i charged it up good the day before so definitely definitely invest in one of these or something similar whatever anything rechargeable with a fan to give you some cool or air we did have like a heat warning yesterday so it's pretty rough without the air but this was great also the wall sconces fabulous fabulous thing to have rechargeable no need to plug them in it has a battery in it that you charge they lasted for hours. And also my lamps, they're in the bedroom, which is a complete disaster. Don't pay attention to that. But these, these were also a godsend. Uh, I actually kept this on all night, all night. I had this on in my bedroom and I do not sleep with lights on, but it was called for last night. So this lasted all night and all morning. When I woke up, it was still on, rechargeable lamps, so yeah. I'm gonna do some cleaning in here, so if you're in need of some cleaning motivation, let's get to it. So don't judge me, but I am starting off cleaning in these pants and then I realized it was way too hot outside and those pants were too thick, so I changed them right after this into a thinner legging. Also, I know I look funny the way I'm vacuuming the AstroTurf, but it was kind of hard to go back and forth on it, so I was having to do it this way. I don't even know if the AstroTurf was completely dry yet because during the hurricane, it was completely soaked. Hopefully it's dried off by now. It didn't feel too wet when I folded it over, but I don't know, we'll see. So the 
reason I brought my beanbags in during the hurricane isn't because they aren't waterproof or anything. They are made for outside, but the manager of our apartment that we live in sent out an email about securing the patio stuff just in case. And I know that even when we've had smaller storms, the beanbags get moved around a little bit out here as well as some other things. So I figured it would be safest to bring them inside, at least just the beanbags and the ottomans. Nothing else moved though, surprisingly, but I am glad we brought them in because with the amount of rain that was on the patio, those beanbags would have been soaked for sure. I feel like this patio really needs a good deep cleaning now after the hurricane, but honestly, it was so hot outside today. I didn't feel like doing all that. Plus, I still had to finish cleaning up inside and I didn't want to wear myself out too much. I didn't sleep good the night before and then I was up at 5 in the morning so at this point I was feeling like death but I knew I had to get all of this done today and on top of it I was having major anxiety but all of this cleaning actually helped me a lot so I'm glad I did it today. Has a heart as pure no not like yours So now I am back inside. I'm going to clean off my windows and windowsills first, and I'm just using vinegar and water for now. So I'm going to clean the bottoms of the windows and the windowsills, and then I'm going to wipe off grandpa's table and the things that are sitting on grandpa's table, and then I'm going to clean the TV and the TV table after. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There be no wars. Now I'm just straightening up the couch a little bit and then I'm going to be vacuuming this rug over here. And now I'm just giving the litter box a quick wipe down. I should have done this a long time ago, but I was being lazy. It wasn't really dirty, but the dust from the litter was in a few places. So I just wanted to give it a quick cleaning so it would look nicer. And then after that, I'm gonna be vacuuming up around the litter box where we didn't have any power. The litter actually accumulated in this area very quickly. I swept most of it to the side of the wall just to get it out of the way, but there was still more litter in this area the next morning, so I'm just going to vacuum it all up, and then I'm going to be mopping this area afterwards, and I'm also going to be doing some vacuuming and mopping by the front door.
time to get rid of this crazy mess. The cat food was everywhere. I've been feeding these girls on these little plates and for some reason, maybe it's because the plates are flatter, the girls make a big old mess with their food. So I'm gonna pick up their plates first and then I'm gonna be sweeping all of the food into a pile and then just vacuuming it up. And yeah, I know I could have just picked up the dry food and gave it to them, but honestly, I didn't feel like doing that. I just wanted to clean the mess and get it over with, so that's what I did. Now that I'm done with that, we are moving on to the kitchen and I'm having my husband help me today. He's gonna to be cleaning out the dishwasher for me and reloading it. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna be picking up around the kitchen and also cleaning off the countertops. After that, I'm going to be sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping the kitchen floor. straightening up the girls cooling blanket I usually have it in their house but when we lost power I was worried that they were gonna get overheated so I put the cooling blanket out so it could keep them cool but I'm putting it back in their house now and I also have another cooling blanket for them on the way which I ordered from Amazon they like laying on the blanket inside the house so I figured I would get two so that they could have one in different areas this is the end of the video I hope y'all enjoyed it thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time bye Go.